Hey everyone, today I'm going to show uh, how to test a knock sensor. The one I have in my hand, I pulled this out of my 2005 Honda Accord. Uh, it's done about 400k and this one has lasted that long. Usually knock sensors are good about, uh, about 250k and after that, you know, you may have to replace them if you get a code. Now, uh, my car recently threw a code indicating that my knock sensor was uh, not functioning. Now what this does is, so this part of the knock sensor goes on the engine block and screws in, it's a very tricky place and here's the place where the port goes in and the wire from here goes to the ECU. Uh, what this technically does is uh, when there's a pinging on the engine, the knock sensor detects the knocking or the pinging and there's a small piezoelectric crystal in here which produces a small voltage. And what it does is takes the voltage from the wire to the ECU port, which is the electronic port of the car, and it adjusts your your ignition timing, and so that uh, you know it's it's basically to protect your uh, your engine, your pistons, and of course uh, your gas consumption. Now, if this is worn out, you don't want to be driving your car with a worn out knock sensor because it will damage your engine, your pistons. And you'll be, um, you know, you know, you'll be spending more on gas. Uh, the engine gets too hot. There can be so much of trouble. Now, after about four hundred thousand k, I got a code indicating this knock sensor is is not doing its job. But I don't want to take any chances. I still replace with the new one. But what I ended up doing is I wanted to check to see if this is any good. And you know, it's an easy way to check. And all you need is uh, a simple multimeter, and you can see here. Um, a digital one is what I have. Now, there's two things you need to check. First thing is I'm going to check the resistance on the knock sensor. Now, what it means is I'm going to check for continuity uh, on the knock sensor, right? So for that, what I need to do is I'm going to I'm going to move this dial to where it says here. I hope you all can see that that little sign. That's the ohm sign, which is for uh, resistance check. So you set that in. And you can see it shows OL, there's nothing reading right now. And with any multimeters, there's always these uh, two probes. Now what I've done is, uh, I've just inserted a, a small clip. Now this is a, a clip which you can use to hang, uh, you know, picture frames on the wall. Uh, there was a little hole there, I was able to put this in. The reason why I did this is, I want to insert this end into the, the port where the wire goes. But there's a single pin, so it kind of stays snug. When I put it in so I don't have to hold that if I don't have that if I just put the pin in then I may not get a good uh, touch on that lead so that's why I have this to just keep it in place so a little bit of a, a problem solving and I'm going to use this end to put it on uh, any part of the the body of the knock sensor now this can be done on the car but because this was in a very tricky place it's not easy to do this testing on the car so I just wanted to do the testing outside of the car now you don't want to be touching uh, the, the pin and the body together so we got to be very careful now the way this is done watch very carefully so i set it to the ohm setting now it's showing ol now when i touch the lead of the inside of the pin and the outside of the body uh, there should not be any reading it should still be in ol indicating there is no resistance i mean this knock sensor is good now let's see if that's the case i'm just going to see if i can get this closer all right i want to adjust the camera a little bit so there we go. I'm just gonna insert this right there. All right, so that's gonna stay in place. And I'm going to put the lead on anywhere on the body. Now you notice there is no reading. So that's good news, there's no resistance. Uh, you're not supposed to have any continuity there. That's why it's showing, you're still showing oil. If you see any numbers on here when you do this testing, it means the sensor is probably bad for the resistance test, not for the voltage test, right? So once again, make sure there's good lead control. Let me just double check, make sure it controls good. I'm gonna touch this here. All right, there we go. And when I touch the leads, I get some numbers, but when I touch here, there's nothing. So this is good news. So this is the first part of your knock center test which is the uh, resistance test. Okay, let's move on now. Let's take this off. Okay, now, I'm gonna put this away. 
All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, the second step, which is called the voltage test. Now, this is the actual, uh, it's technically, it's called the knock test to see that if I knock on that knock sensor, does it send a signal like a voltage, which is shown in here. Now, for that, what I need to do is I'm going to move the dial back to where it says voltage right here with the V and right there and make sure it's on AC voltage, not DC. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of glare there. So that's AC. So it should be set on AC and make sure it's on the V port. Okay, so let's put that over here. All right, now let's go and try this again. All right. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert the red lead so that it goes nice and snug. You can see here. Nice and snug there. I'm going to leave it in there. Okay. And I'm going to go and touch this black lead on the body and hopefully you can see after a while it should come back to zero. All right, so let's try it again. So I got the red lead connected in and I'm going to put the black one on the body and give it a couple of seconds. It should come back to zero. All right, right there it's reading a zero. Now what I'm going to do, oh, not yet, it's almost there. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is, so it's reading a voltage of zero. So I'm just going to take something heavy. I'm going to use a wrench and I'm just going to bang it on the table and the knock sensor is going to see if it works. It will send the voltage and you're going to see it on the meter. So now it's all in zero. Let's go. There you go. 5.2. Back to zero. 4.2. I'll do a mild one. 2.4. Two point four. So I'm gonna go a little harder this time. That's a five point six, five point eight, back to zero. So this shows that yes, the knock sensor is still able to generate the voltage, but I still don't want to take a chance because after four hundred thousand K, I think you're rather better off to replace this one. So if you're thinking whether your knock sensor is damaged or not, so try these two tests. So one is a resistance test. And the second test is the active knocking test using a voltage AC. So make sure you put the lead on one of the end. The black goes on the, the ground. So make sure the voltage reads zero, like what you see right now there. And then once it reads zero, just bang on either the table or anything nearby so the sensor can still detect a bit of voltage right there. Hopefully this helps someone to check and, you know, troubleshoot your knock sensor to see if it's good or bad. Now, if your knock sensor is really, really good, if it's not too old, but make sure to check the wires as well because the knock sensor harness wire could also be damaged due to a lot of heat from the engine. All right, good luck.